used to hide illegal immigrants smuggled across the border. Fox's Casey Siegel has the story. A flurry of activity under the cover of darkness, all captured by home surveillance cameras. More than a dozen migrants traipsing across private property in Mission, Texas. They're now coming into my backyard. They're coming to my front door. Too close for comfort, says Bonnie Fogg, who lives in this normally quiet neighborhood, home mostly to retirees who have increasingly become worried about their safety. My fear is that the migrants that are coming across the border are becoming more dangerous. When we got into the house, we realized that there were over 90 people inside. On Friday, authorities in Houston, hundreds of miles from the border, discovered a possible stash house with about 90 people inside, mostly adult men. And when they got inside the house, they realized that this is actually going to turn into a smuggling, a human smuggling investigation. Crazy because we have HOA. You know, every morning they walk and look at this. Any house, anything can happen. COVID is a major concern with the group. They will do some rapid testing for that, so we will keep them in the house for now. And then at some point, uh, once we figure out how many positive COVID cases we have, we may have to quarantine. More apprehensions have been made so far this year along the southern border than all of 2020 combined, according to CBP data. What's more, agents say the smugglers and human trafficking organizations are constantly changing their tactics with how they move their cargo into the U.S., even tagging migrants with wristbands each color representing a different cartel. It is very dangerous to cross illegally, you know, across the uh, southwest border. Agents here at the nation's busiest commercial port of entry in Laredo have seen the danger now with their own eyes. They recently found 145 migrants packed in the back of a sweltering tractor trailer bound for the U.S. In Del Rio, children were hidden inside the floor of a semi. While in Corpus Christi, agents found dozens of migrants tucked away inside a refrigerated truck filled with produce. The Pentagon announced late today that it is moving forward with President Biden's proclamation now officially canceling all military-funded border wall projects. That's the latest from the Texas-Mexico border in Laredo, Casey Stegall, Ten, five women, and so far five of the people have tested positive for COVID-19. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button.